What is your most embarrassing accidental reply to all story? I have no idea how they did it, but someone figured out how to reply all to my college's weekly emails from the president. I got the sense he was being sarcastic with it, because he would reply with the most useless information. We would get an email about an upcoming concert on campus and then a reply all from him sorry I have a dentist appointment that day so I can't attend. Question mark? Good to know. This feels like those people that answer questions on Amazon with I don't know. I have not used this device in the way you're asking this question. I think that they get emails asking them if they can answer this question. Without realizing that this is an automated email. Or like in your case, an email to multiple people. That doesn't need an answer and is just for your information. Some administrator accidentally replied to all, the entire 300 person class when responding to a girl who failed and had to redo the school year. He didn't realize till someone emailed him about it, to which he urged us to delete it and lectured us on professionalism. I hope he lectured you in a don't do this manner and not a this is not my fault manner. In my last job, another software developer who was known for over the top remarks accidentally replied all with something along the lines of, maybe we can show them how to wipe their asses next. My boss was going out of town and sent an email to our team with updates, who would be doing what while she was away, etc. At the very end she added in something to the tone of, let me know if I can get you anything. I cheekily reply all with, I want a pony thinking it was just me team, and they all know my silly sense of humor. What I didn't realize was that she had also included our CEO and the managing directors. I was mortified when one of the directors responded back, saying that wasn't in the budget this year. Many months later, I met our CEO's wife at the holiday party and she told me she already knew about me, and asked if I ever got that pony. I mean... It's not malicious and it's funny. At least the CEO was a good sport about it. I was at a wedding in May when one of my good friends from college pulled me aside to show me a video. Apparently, one of her newly engaged friends decided to take a photo of her new engagement ring on her hand. Typical pov looking down on this big old ring and her hand in space girly type nonsense. After taking the photo she sent it to her entire extended family in a group text and to a bunch of her friends as well. What the poor girl didn't realize was that she had actually taken a live photo on her brand new iPhone. Essentially it's a short video instead of just a single photo. While initially the photo was of her ring and hand, the extended cut revealed her now fiancé walking up in the background completely nude. The hilarious part isn't even that he's completely nude, it's the fact that this joker is crab walking in a hotel room towards his new fiancé sporting a raging erection. Put a ring on it and get some privileges right? Well, this extended version gets sent out like I said earlier, to grandma, uncle Billy, friends from high school, friends from college. Essentially everyone with any know-how of a phone quickly figures out what exactly is being provided in this marriage. The poor girl figures out what's happened the next morning when her phone blows up, but the damage is already done. Don't know if they've gotten married yet but dang would I want to be at that wedding. If they do get married he absolutely must crab walk up the aisle. A couple of co-workers of mine were having a secret office affair. The only people that didn't know that everyone knew was them. Well anyway, I don't remember exactly how it happened but the chain of one of their not so SFW email exchanges got hitched onto an email that went to the whole department. Like the fedora wearing IT guy wasn't beating off to it already. They didn't notice. Suddenly, I knew the lady I was sharing a cubicle with didn't wear panties on Fridays. Liked being choked and that they had code names for where to meet up on campus to hook up and when. We had fun with the code words. Whenever we overheard one, a bunch of us would go to that location a few minutes beforehand and just awkwardly hang out there to ruin their afternoon hookup. This is hilarious. Controller sent out an employee sheet with salaries in a hidden column to all managers. Called him and he was able to get IT to recall the emails. Disaster averted big time. Office would have turned into the church scene from Kingsman. I accidentally sent a meme of a picture of Lightning McQueen with the caption daddy to a doctors for hope club group chat instead of my personal group chat with my friends. Needless to say, I stopped going to the meetings. My employer had started one of those office united way partnership programs. 
So everyone had to go to a meeting about the fun opportunities to give money and do things in the community so the company could take credit for good works. United Way is a great organization, but companies use it to drum up good PR at low no cost to the company by having the employees do it all. Soon after we started getting weekly emails about volunteering opportunities and such. By week 3 someone had had enough and responded to one of these emails with seriously. I didn't know this was going to be an every week thing. Unsubscribe as you can probably guess. They had hit reply all and so the entire office got included on that response. They immediately tried to recall the email. Then reply all an apology when that didn't work. They never lived it down for the rest of the time they worked for the company. They just said what everyone was thinking. Poor chapter. Middle school. Some person lost their book. A teacher messages every student in that grade. People reply all with not me or stop replying all. Went on for a few days. Because middle schoolers. That reminds me of the system my middle school had set up. If you used reply all to an email with only one recipient. It would email the whole school. I still have no idea how they even managed to set it up that way. The CEO sent an email to 150 plus rank and file employees, and their managers, thanking them for a fantastic job and letting them know they were getting a bonus payout for around a thousand bucks in their next paycheck. One of the sales managers decided to reply to him, asking if the rest of the bonus numbers were in yet. His first mistake was not realizing that he was replying to a distribution list. His second mistake was including the line because if I'm only getting 60 thousand like last quarter i vote we stop giving money to the freaking peasants he went on a vacation and didn't come back whoa what and but not me but my buddy he's a freelance social media guy i don't really know what he actually does he just works magic for company's social media presence he was trying to set up an out of office auto reply so he could go away on holiday for the week he found a youtube video for it and everything he somehow managed to send an out of office email, instantly, to every single person he'd ever received an email from. For every email he'd received, his dad received like 400 out of office emails. One for every time his dad had emailed him. Every single client he'd ever worked with received at least one, if not multiple emails. People he'd worked with years ago received emails. Literally thousands of emails all got sent in one go to his entire history of email contacts. He spent several days in damage control mode trying to contact as many people as possible to apologies for the tens, and sometimes hundreds, of duplicate emails from him in their inbox. What made it worse was that he was setting up his auto reply about a week before his holiday, so it wasn't even correct when everyone got this email saying he was out of office. Apparently he still has a metric crap ton of emails in his outbox that still try to send themselves out occasionally to all the email addresses that are no longer valid but he corresponded with in the past. It was an impressively massive freak up for such a tech savvy guy. I find that the more tech savvy the person is, the greater the technological possibility for freaking up. Was knocking boots with a co-worker at an old job. Inter office relationships were pretty badly frowned upon and she managed to send an email to her team of 20 people which she meant to send me. The email made it very obvious we had just done something in a storeroom that we shouldn't have. When I was 17 I worked at a coffee shop that was horribly run. The manager would send out these texts if something was done wrong to the entire staff public shaming us. I worked the closing shift and forgot to take the trash that was in the basement and put it out for pickup. So the next morning at like 7am I get a text from the manager explaining that myself and the other employee didn't take the trash out and that the only time you don't put the trash out is Saturday nights and when it's a holiday. So I was a little annoyed since it was our first mistake and wrote back that we were in the middle of Ramadan. The holiest holiday in the Muslim calendar and that I just assumed we weren't putting the trash out and then I apologized. I also do not have a smartphone. Neither my parents or I wanted to pay for one. Even though everyone else I worked with in 2012. I did not realize that I was texting everyone that worked at the coffee place and not just the manager. So I get back from the gym and I have like 11 texts from other employees praising the size of my balls and 2 missed calls 1 from the manager and 1 from the owner explaining how I am undermining their authority. TL. DR didn't realize I was on a mass text because of lack of smartphone and almost got fired for undermining authority. Discipline in private. Praise in public. 
wasn't me, but here goes. Even though email had been around for a while, new recruits in the military back in the late 90s didn't really use it before joining. I was in the air force and this guy kept telling us how much of a crush he had on this girl in our office. Anyways, he wasn't the brightest and took a suggestion that if he wasn't brave enough to talk to her then he should send her an email. He sat down and wrote a very long email to her expressing his love. It was creepy and way over the top. We all read it and told him to delete it. He didn't and saved it as a draft. The next day I am checking my email and find an email from this guy in my inbox. It was the email I had proofread the day before. I take a look at it and realize he had cc'd the entire squadron, which included all of our leadership. He said he had never sent an email before and wasn't sure what all the blanks were on the email. So he types in his squadron's numbers and letters in the cc block and just happened to get it right so it auto filled the bulk email address. Poor kid had a hundred emails from everyone with all sorts of replies. However, not a single one from the intended recipient. This made my soul hurt. <laughs> Colleague asked for a title change. Days go by and we get the company email. 300 plus employees. Announcing the promotion of said employee. With entire chain email exchanges between the VP and HR including emails like did she ask for a raise? No she hasn't good don't mention anything. A girl at my college intended to send an email out to her classmates saying the class was a joke. Her second email suggested she might try sleeping with the professor for a good grade. Somehow the email went out to the entire school of 30,000 people. Oof. Note, not really a reply all at all but nightmarish all the same. Years back. Myself and my then girlfriend were young copywriters at the same ad agency so we'd often write each other long pieces of prose. Nothing much. Just shooting the crap to pass the time when it was quiet as something to do. One afternoon, after an exchange with one particular account manager, I decided to write a piece about him. He was in a job he should have been promoted away from years ago. Sad around the eyes. Soft spoken with skin as grey as his hair. He had the air of a divorcee. Flinderson-esque, you might say, someone whose only joy was his daily meal for one under the glow of a 24 inch flat screen. I went on like this for many paragraphs and, once happy with the masterpiece I'd created, pressed send. But guess whose address I entered instead of my girlfriend's? The kicker. He came over shortly after and said pretty much spot on as I was mid apology. Sigh. My buttocks could render a diamond from a matchstick having relived this moment. The kicker. He came over shortly after and said pretty much spot on as I was mid apology. Comma I feel sorry for him. And then BSP. My buttocks could now render a diamond from a matchstick having relived this moment. At least you're making money out of the mistake. Second year university. One of our profs sent out a mass email to students in my program asking for volunteers to work with first years. Kind of a mentorship program. There were set requirements, grades time available etc. It appears that the university hadn't figured out the thing about using BCC to copy all because we all got an email from a classmate discussing in great length how even though her grades were x bad, that she still thought she could be a mentor. Then someone replied to all saying, don't reply to all. Bit of a crap show after that and prof asked us to delete emails without reading. Embarrassing for girl who commenting telling us all how bad her grades were. Not sure if it was a reply all or not, but I was a subscriber to her clothing company's newsletter. One day somehow I ended up cc'd on an internal chain of emails. They were talking about a new line of shorts they were releasing and some of the emails were gold. I remember a solid chain of emails that went. The new shorts are going to have a 7 inch inseam. 7 inches? What are these shorts for giants? Scratch that. 5 inch inseam. Sorry, I didn't know we were designing shorts for some Detroit Rec League team. Get out of here with your 5 inch inseam bulls. 4 inch inseam, but no lower. That's fine, I can always cut them off. I got to spend like 3 days in this email chain just watching them argue over patterns and inseams. They never released that line of shorts though which sucks because I was so excited to show off my boxers from beneath my pants. I used to work for a German company. The official language in the office was English as we had plenty of international colleagues, me being one of them. The company sent an email saying we could potentially benefit from a discount for a gym called Body and Soul. 
they were asking people who were interested to subscribe by email in order to know if it was worth making a contract with a gym. One of my colleagues who might have not had a particularly good command of the English language, replied to all like two days later and terribly out of context saying I want body and soul. I still remember how people started bursting into laughter one by one during a meeting after reading their emails, me being one of them. Eventually, we stopped the meeting, told the others why we were laughing. They laughed too and that guy was teased for that for at least a year. I used to work for a German company. I still remember how people started bursting into laughter. I don't believe you. Has this been true for previous years? Because I don't recall getting anything and my review scores for the last 3 years were X, Y and Z. Yeah, just told everyone in the company my last 3 years of review scores. Not me, the director of HR at my old job. My old company was circling the drain big time. Somehow they're hanging on but I'm betting they'll close within 2 years. So, they had lots of layoffs and restructuring going on. The latest one before I quit was for the entire technology development team. Only 5 people or so, but a layoff is a layoff. They were escorted off the premises at 9 in the morning so everyone was ogling them as they left the office. Everyone was whispering about it because it was entirely out of the blue. It seemed like none of them knew this was coming. Then an hour or so later, we get it. A reply all to the entire company from the director of HR in response to a request from a payroll staff member's inquiry with an attachment detailing those poor guys salaries, severance packages, taxes, benefit costs, everything. She didn't write anything else, just included the attachment with a relatively innocent title so we all opened it. The entire office was shocked and all the oh my gods and ohs kind of collected into a load in. We all saw what those numbers were. These guys were getting paid more than 3 times my salary. We were expecting immediate action from executives. But no one said anything for 2 hours. Not even the HR director. Finally she sent a company wide email that said please do not open or discuss the previous document. That's it. She was gone for a few days after that but she didn't lose her job. She's still there. I thought it would have been an immediate termination. But what do I know? Not even accidental. Some guy that works at my company emailed the entire company to say he was going to be out of the office on a certain day because he was getting a colonoscopy. Not exactly reply to all. This was in 1981. I was 20. Long before I'd ever heard of email. But it's close enough. At the time, the media here in the UK was in a frenzy about the upcoming marriage between Prince Charles and Diana Spencer. And a few of us in the office were absolutely sick of hearing about it. We were a team of programmers, working in the computing department of a large retail chain. Our work was done on VDUs, monitors that could only display text, connected to a mainframe. Always one to delve into the hidden corners of manuals. I discovered that our system allowed a program to send text to any VDU on the system. So I wrote a program that displayed the Charles equals Diana in large letters, made up of multiple X's, that filled the recipient screen, replacing whatever they'd been working on, and on the wedding day I had sent it to a couple of my co-workers, who thought it was hilarious, and very novel too. This wasn't a feature anyone had known about, and encouraged me to send it to other people around the office. All very funny, until I accidentally omitted the parameter that specified which VDU to send to. The default was all. So everyone in the office had that screen. Not only that, but everyone with a VDU in every one of the retail company's offices got it, which caused the phones in our office to ring a lot. I wasn't disciplined. Maybe because most of our users would have thought it very topical and patriotic. I worked at a Fortune 500 company with thousands of employees. CEO sends a company-wide email about how we're so great or something. Someone replies all with gibberish. CEO replies back with thanks. Dude later replied back saying his kid got a hold of his phone and sent it. Yeah guy was let go at my job for replying back with gibberish. Then with a follow up of lol. My bad. Poor sap. There used to be some bug in exchange in the 2000s where a reply to one sender would reply all. I never knew quite what was behind it. But we'd get these occasional reply storms with dozens of people who were obviously trying to respond to one person would send to all 800 people on the DL. 
Stuff like you need to be more careful when responding you replied to the entire list instead of the sender and stuff. One day this woman thought she had deleted all the addresses from the reply to line and replaced with her friend. Are these freaking people retarded? How hard is it to avoid replying to all? It went to the entire DL. It was glorious. A young director at a company that I used to work for passed away after a brief fight with cancer. Her husband continued to work at the company and sent the obligatory during this difficult time thank you for the outpouring of support, help, thoughts, prayers etc. Email to all employees. A few hours later this freaking weirdo replies to all asking if anybody wanted to ride motorcycles that weekend. It was worse than that though. I just can't remember the details as this was quite a few years ago. Totally inappropriate. This guy was fired a few weeks later. I'm not sure as to the official reason, but it had to be because of his insensitive and stupid reply. Some people. My college kept a list of students who were considered autistic, either from teacher assessments or medical psychiatric information submitted by their parents. Naturally some administrator managed to send said list to every single student in the year. Quite a few people discovered they were autistic that day. There was a law student who interned at a Wall Street law firm over the summer, and thought he was replying to his friend with a message like I've been dicking around all morning and it's time for another 2 hour lunch. But there's an important partner on this deal so I guess I should actually look over the documents and stop being a fuck up. He actually sent it to all partners. Amazingly he still got an offer at the end of the summer, but he's a legend in the New York legal community. University. Final year. Professor sent out a generic message asking every student in the cohort for updates regarding their studies, job searches etc. I was feeling quite good about myself at the time so I enthusiastically replied that my studies were going pretty well and I was happy with my progression, as well as stating, with exclamation marks, that I got an internship offer that year. Clicked send. Five minutes later my coursemate texts me, nice reply all dude. To this day the memory makes me want to jump off the nearest tall building, and thanks to this question I am currently reliving the experience. Not my screw up. Fortunately, I work at a big 10 university and due to somewhat new laws we get text and email notifications anytime a sexual assault is reported. These emails go to every single faculty, staff and student at this very large university and despite that we've only had one instance of a regretful reply all that went something like this. How do I get removed from these emails? I don't want to hear about this crap, just important things. Whoops. That was Penn State. The best part was the guy worked in IT for the school. In college, in a physics class, we had a group email to talk the content, exercises, test and all. Eventually we started to make fun of the teacher, for any reason, and one guy thought it was funny to forward to someone outside. Somehow he managed to reply to all and include the teacher in it. He was pretty pee and spent a whole class saying why that was wrong. Oh crap. I actually have a good one for this one and have the evidence somewhere. So I work in a huge state department with a few thousand people, and we have an email distribution list that includes the entire department. A few years ago, the occasional person would hit reply all when these emails came out to clarify something from the email. No big deal. Until one day, one day, someone decided they had enough of it. Let's call him Brian, because I really don't remember his name. Brian decides he's sick of these reply all emails, and replies that he wants to be taken off the distribution list so that he won't get the reply emails. It's not the original emails, but the reply ones. This gets a lot of other people to start hitting reply all and everyone's inbox turns into a chat server for about 20 minutes where people are using the reply all feature to start bickering about how much they dislike it. This culminated in a few amazing moments. Brian doesn't realize that by replying all to the DL which he is on, his own replies are getting sent back to him, so there was a good chain where he is replying to himself, no, stop it, stop replying, stop sending me replies, then our email administrator made an unprofessional sarcastic email saying thank you all for proving to us that the reply all feature exists, 
From now on, all department-wide emails will be sent on the BCC to prevent this from ever happening again. IDK. The whole meltdown was hilarious to watch. I need to find that CD1 saved them on because this was at least 10 years ago and I don't have them anyways. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.